Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 has traveled over 15 billion miles from Earth, far beyond the planets into the unknown. It's our most distant explorer, and after 46 years, it's still making discoveries that change our view of the cosmos. As Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the invisible boundary where the sun's solar wind meets interstellar space, it recorded something unexpected, a dramatic spike in plasma temperature reaching nearly 50,000 Kelvin. 50,000 Kelvin is about 8.6 times hotter than the sun's surface, but remember, this is not flame, it's charged particles colliding at incredible speeds. The heliopause acts as a protective bubble, shielding our solar system from much of the galaxy's cosmic radiation. Voyager 1's data suggests this boundary is far more dynamic and volatile than previously thought, with shock waves and heating events that could shift over time. Without the heliosphere, Earth would be exposed to dangerous levels of cosmic rays, which could harm life and even affect our climate. Voyager 1's plasma wave instrument picks up oscillations caused by charged particles. These readings revealed an intense compressed region, a sort of cosmic shock front. Understanding this boundary helps scientists model how stars and planetary systems interact with their galactic neighborhoods. The plasma wave instrument is so sensitive it can detect vibrations smaller than the width of a hydrogen atom. If the edge of our solar system is this active, it suggests that interstellar space may be far from the cold, empty void many imagine. There could be other stranger walls of activity between us and the nearest stars. Voyager 1 has shown us that even in the farthest reaches there's still mystery and motion. So, if the edge of our home system is alive with energy, what might be lurking deeper into interstellar space? And that's why we will always keep looking up.